Most people in the car industry have been talking about autonomous driving for the past six years. Car makers were dropping the terms mobility and self-driving in car shows, while Uber and others poached university engineers from robotics laboratories on Moss. And Tesla fans argued on Twitter the firm's autopilot system could be termed autonomous. At the same time, urban planners were rethinking town's designs to plan and envision an automotive detritus, absence of traffic, stoplights, and cars parked at one roadside. Cars would just drop you at your place and boom! vanish practically. Many people were so hopeful about the self-driving feature that the then Secretary of Transportation in the US, Anthony Fox, proclaimed that fully autonomous cars would be everywhere by 2021. However, fast forward to today. The buzz is no longer there. You'll hear less about self-driving cars than a few years ago. The prospect of fully autonomous cars is becoming a distant fantasy. Why the radio silence? Watch on as I explain the reasons why Tesla self-driving cars are not yet a reality. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Understanding self-driving car. It can mean a fully autonomous car that doesn't want a human driver behind the wheel, though it's not fully operational as envisioned. Several semi-autonomous features are available in the cars on the road already. The autonomous tools utilize various sensors to know what happens on the road and use sophisticated computing powers to decide for the car. The change to fully autonomous cars doesn't happen at once. It happens gradually as features that need drivers to do less work roll out. Since 2020, all new Teslas have been featured with a full self-driving computer, but car owners must buy the $10,000 full self-driving capability package to have the features. The Tesla CEO said that owners would have access to the technology, but the vehicles won't still be fully self-driving. Reasons why Tesla self-driving cars are not yet a reality. Elon Musk believes his firm Tesla would have fully autonomous vehicles everywhere by 2021. He said in 2020 that there are fundamental challenges remaining. There are many small problems. And then there's the challenges of solving all those small problems and putting the whole systems together. Musk finally admitted that he underestimated how hard it is to design a reliable self-driving car. The engineering community had already debunked the full self-driving success earlier. But what could be the reason for this shortfall? Continue watching as I unravel the reasons. Developing sensors. A fully self-driving vehicle uses sensors to view its environment and helping cars to detect things like other cars, pedestrians, or road signs. The cameras also help vehicles to view objects, while the LiDAR utilizes lasers to measure or determine the space between vehicles and objects. Also, radar tracks a car's direction and speed and detects objects. These sensors feed data to the vehicle's computer to aid it in deciding when to brake or where to steer. Specifically, fully autonomous vehicles require a broad set of sensors that could detect objects accurately and aptly capture the speed and distance under any environment or conditions, devoid of human intervention. Some conditions like huge traffic, lousy weather, graffitied road signs can adversely affect the sensing ability accuracy. Tesla uses radar, and it's less susceptible to bad weather conditions. Meanwhile, there's still a challenge to ensure that the selected sensors utilized in fully autonomous vehicles can detect every object with the needed certainty for the vehicles to be secured. To achieve a fully autonomous vehicle, the sensors should work in every weather condition globally. A series of Tesla cars' accidents since 2020 shows that the firm has a long way to go in producing global and all-weather self-driving cars. Developing sensors that would operate flawlessly in every type of weather and visibility condition, including teaching vehicles ways to react to edge cases they would encounter on the road, are still lacking. They're the main reason why Tesla self-driving cars aren't a reality yet. Machine learning and artificial intelligence. Similarly, most autonomous vehicles would utilize machine learning and artificial intelligence to process data from their sensors to help decide their next actions. The algorithms would help to know the objects detected by the sensors while classifying them based on the training of the system as streetlights and pedestrians. The vehicle will then utilize the information to decide if it requires taking action, like swerving or braking to prevent detected objects. Later in the future, the machine can detect objects and classify them more efficiently than the human driver. There is currently no widely agreed and accepted basis which ensures that the machine learning algorithms utilized in the vehicles are safe. In other words, there is no general agreement on how machine learning needs to be tested, trained, or validated on Tesla cars. Acceptability a series of Tesla cars accidents since 2020, plus accidents involving other autonomous and automated cars, has affected the self-driving car's social acceptability. It's not the only problem with people that want to purchase self-driving vehicles, but equally for other road-sharing users. 
the general public should be engaged in some decisions on the adoption and introduction of self-driving cars. Without a clear-cut collaboration and explanation on the car's safety, safety's evidence, and operation with the public and regulators to get some levels of approval, these Tesla fully self-driving vehicles would remain a fantasy. In other words, Musk needs to solve the issue of social acceptability first through an effective collaboration on challenges on safety, regulation, assurance, and acceptance. Accidents Involving Tesla Self-Driving Vehicles Tesla self-driving cars have been involved in some accidents, including in Florida and Texas, where the videos went viral. The accident highlights confusion on Tesla's automotive driving abilities and the ways people use them. Even though all new Tesla cars have cameras and sensors, and the firm claims it delivers autonomous driving features, the cars are still without accidents. It has been observed that Tesla autonomous driving features aren't the same and more elaborate like self-driving cars from firms such as Waymo. Even with a fully autonomous car, many self-driving vehicles would be semi-automatic for now. Trying to know who has the responsibility and when could be tricky. It could be tricky for the car to notify passenger times. Moreover, what could happen if human passengers go against self-driving vehicles on the road? Often, humans might wish to control, but the cars aren't always programmed or designed to oblige. Vehicles don't pass through a vacuum. Infrastructures and roads, plus the state, local, and federal regulations, need to welcome many robocars. As stated, the public has to be involved. Level 5 Autonomy Level 5 is the highest level of autonomy for self-driving cars. This level entails that the car can do all the driving in any circumstance. It is driving entirely autonomously, without need for human involvement or intervention, in any weather condition, night or day, or road. Full self-driving features are auto lane change, navigate on autopilot, summon, the act of moving vehicles around tight spaces with just a key or mobile app, smart summon, navigating in more complex surroundings and in parking spaces, auto steer on town streets, traffic and stop sign control. However, Tesla's autopilot system presently lies at partial automation, or level two. The vehicle could autonomously do some functions, like acceleration, steering, and braking. Nevertheless, Tesla needs every driver to keep control of the car while on autopilot. There can be fatal consequences when you fail to do so. For instance, some fatal crashes have happened involving Tesla cars on autopilot enabled. In other words, Tesla vehicles aren't still driving at their discretion, and they're far from catching the highest level five of autonomy. In January 2021, during an earnings call interview, Musk stated that he was highly confident the car will be able to drive itself with reliability in excess of humans this year. Be that as it may, Tesla might not reach level 5 autonomy by 2021 end. Before I conclude this topic, let me bring your attention to Tesla's latest attempt at its car automation. Tesla steps so far to have an autonomous car. Autopilot presently needs drivers to pay apt attention and always keep their hands on steering wheels. However, some drivers are relying too much on the tech while some avoid Tesla safety features. Now, people are seen on videos riding in the back seat, while others sleep at the wheel because of the engaged autopilot. Thus, there has been a rise in recorded autopilot-related crashes. Consequently, Tesla has attempted to enhance autopilot's autonomous abilities by including an automatic lane-changing feature, which is presently bringing the full self-driving feature in beta mode for a few groups of drivers. Musk has promised to make Tesla vehicles fully autonomous and even plans on some model releases later in the year. Hey, don't fret. Fully self-driving or highly automated driving can still be possible, one that's enabled by technology that's racing forward and fast. Computer processing abilities and continuous learning of sophisticated artificial intelligence systems are the key things toward this drive. More so, an onboard sensor system needed to detect cars, monitor behavior, and read the surroundings is growing possible as days pass. Moreover, there are these vital communication systems that would link everything together. They are 5G cellular networks and cloud computing. The 5G network will make the wireless speeds faster than the 4G network in use. At the same time, the cloud system permits engineers to release much data processing from the cars themselves into more rigorous and capable updated servers. The 5G network would be the game changer as it will offer some key features. Although the vehicles would operate with no connectivity, having a faster, robust, and higher bandwidth data system would profoundly boost the autonomous car network's abilities. Countries or cities can optimize their traffic patterns. Vehicles would be aware of the period traffic signals would be at the intersections, and cars can communicate with each other to adjust during bad weather or any issue. Will Tesla achieve full self-driving? Are Tesla self-driving cars safe? We want to hear your opinion on this. Leave us a comment below. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and check out more awesome ones on the Simply Tech channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.